So Paul, uh, a few new additions to the side. Um, what have you made of the new lads you've brought in? Yeah, listen, they all complement each other well. Uh, the balance is, is getting there. We're obviously still quite a few short, but we're uh, listen, I'm continuously looking at targets. I'm still still constantly on the on the phone back and forth with the board, with, with Chris, with Jamie and Nick. And, uh, we're getting there, we're getting there slowly but surely. I know I know the club haven't been renowned for signing a lot of players in May and we, we obviously done that, but I had no other option. We've, we've, got, to, we've got to move quickly. And a big boost to the fans bringing back uh, Willow to Bunker Street. Yeah, listen, Willow's one that I spoke to a good few weeks ago. Uh, we've been in constant contact, and, uh, contact sorry, and, I, and I know I mentioned maybe three, four weeks ago, I didn't want this to be a club where almost, I said, a retirement fund and, and people might look at that with Willow, but I don't think you can because Willow's a different character. He's obviously, want, listen, Willow was so eager to come back to the club and I was so eager to get him here. So he's, I've done a lot of stuff on Willow that Willow doesn't know himself. I spoke to the people at Walsall, sports scientists, uh, stuff like that. He's still incredibly fit. He's an unbelievable athlete. He's a brilliant person, first and foremost, and someone that I know with, I've played with, I've played against. So I'm really looking forward to, to, to him coming back and, and obviously he deserved the buzz that was that was around him. And we've got our man between the sticks, Curtis Pond. Um, what have you made of him? Yeah, Curtis is a big imposing a big imposing guy who, who will need in this league. He's he's probably different to what most people will see in a goalkeeper. He's quite aggressive, he takes a high line, his distribution's unbelievable. So we're really looking forward to seeing him, looking forward to working with him and, and uh, listen, he's a goalie, goalies are all a bit daft to be honest uh, and I believe that's what he's like as a character so we're really looking forward to, to having someone like him as a team. And Adam Livingston um, into the side as well, playing on that left hand side? Yep, just brings that balance for us, left footed, can play left back, can play left midfield. Uh, really nice cultured left foot, extremely hard working, athletic uh, and he's not afraid to to, to put his foot in as well so really pleased with that one uh, once I'd spoke to Adam he made it very clear that this is a place he wanted to be which, which was pleasing and all those new uh, additions to the side have definitely bolstered the season tickets which have now hit a thousand brilliant listen difficult to put it into words obviously I believe that's more than what was here last year uh, we're five weeks post season and what, eight nine weeks pre-season so listen I'm pretty sure that the number will keep growing, which is which is unbelievable. Uh, for me now to, to try and repay that is obviously getting the players in the building, which which I'm doing so, and, and I'm pleased that there's been a positive reaction to that. But the the hard work will still continue for me, and and, and listen, I totally appreciate everything that, that's gone on off the pitch with the season ticket sales and and obviously the squad building and stuff like that. So we're really appreciative, and, and the only way I can repay their their faith, which which I will do, is, is getting players that will give 100 percent on the pitch. And it's not too long until the lads are back in pre-season training. Um, how are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, really, listen, this bit's brilliant, but my work's on the grass. I'm, I'm desperate to get back on the grass and get, get coaching players into the way that I want to play and stuff like that. So we'll be back in the 20th, probably relatively earlier than what most clubs will be. But I said at the, one of my first interviews, I want to compete. I want to compete with, with full-time clubs. So. We've got to be as fit as them, we've got to be as organised as them and, and that will start as early as possible. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.